maybe a little chilly? Well, what if your own clothing could control your personal climate? Well, according to BizDoc Nick Bontis, that time may not be far off. That's right. Climate-controlled clothing. I think it's so cool, Connie, to be completely Or honest. warm, yeah, depending or, on right, the situation. Or warm. The way it works, you can imagine having clothing with microscopic coiled wires inside. Think of your electric blanket. You know, we've had that technology about 20, 30 years. And even cars now, you can have, warm you know, seats. warm seats, or you can have air-conditioned seats. So it's the same technology, but it's put in the fabric of clothing, where you can actually do one of two things. You can actually heat it up based on a predetermined temperature that you would set, or cool yourself down based on a predetermined temperature. So excellent applications for people living way, way up north or people living close to the equator. Is it on the market now? Well, actually, it's being used in a couple of applications already. So the government, the military in the U.S. is using it right now. You can imagine having military personnel going to very, very hot desert areas, and they are using now climate cooling systems so that these soldiers can last in the desert heat. Also, Antarctica researchers having warm body suits so they can do their research, keep their hands warm when they're doing the types of testing. And it's also being used in the animal world. Uh, race horses actually have these special blankets that are custom designed for them that they put on top of the race horse to warm up the race horse before the race and then to cool down the horse after the race. So the applications are happening right now. I'm thinking of space suits, but of yeah. course, big, bulky things. No. But this is brand new technology that really brings the whole micro idea of yeah. everything we're doing. That's right. Think of those nano focus. chips, right? And the nanotechnology. I mean, applications that I see happening for, you know, the average person would be athletes. You know, let's say you're going to uh, work out or you're going to a hot yoga session and you want your Lululemon ah. spandex to cool yourself down a little bit. So you can see the technology in that regard. But not only in terms of cooling down, but also heating up as well. A lot of people, especially when they get a little bit older like myself, you know, we go into the oh. soccer field. You're a baby, Nick. Well, you know what, Connie? <laughs> I don't warm up. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. I arrive five minutes before the game. You know, it would be great if my clothing could warm me up in the car en route to the soccer game. That would be even better. So what about the dangers here? I could see some potential problems yeah, if well, the mechanisms stop. Malfunctioning. Yes. Well, these things get powered two ways I've seen the technology work. One is by battery power. So you can see if the battery malfunctioned or ran out of power and you were stuck in the Antarctica, that'd be a problem. Mm -hmm. Solar is the other way that it's actually powered. So you can imagine if you were outside working out, the solar rays uh, would actually help keep it warm or keep it cool. Now, here's the other thing, interesting application. What if my clothing actually had an internet protocol address and somebody hacked into my clothing. Ooh. Could you imagine? So instead of hacking into computers and antiviruses for your PC and your smartphone, now we have people hacking into your sweatshirt, making you hot when you don't want to be hot. I think you've got a concept <laughs> for a, a science fiction horror <laughs> flick there. That's right, that's right. But hopefully the good applications would outweigh the dangers. Yeah, I think they will. And the one that I see right away is for my children, because I'm always complaining that they never put their enough clothes out <laughs> when they go out in the cold. So if I could have climate control for my, uh, for my kids, I could keep them warm while they're playing outside in the snow. We'll see. Nick, we'll be waiting for a fashion show down All the right. road. We'll see you next Thank week. Thank you.